Hey, Gemini. Welcome, welcome. This is going to be your weekly reading the 19th to the 25th of March 2023 for those of you that like to keep track of the dates, but this could resonate any day, week, month, year, anytime you're guided to see it or later on down the line. These are predictive readings, so it may not resonate right now. And if you don't know what it is, it's even more reason to pay close attention because they're predictive readings. This reading's for Gemini or anyone else who's guided to see the Gemini reading for whatever reason they're here. Let's do this. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for Gemini. What do we need to know about this reading? We're starting with just a few oracle cards. What do we need to know? Gemini reading for anyone who's guided. The gift. Beautiful. What else do we need to know? Gemini reading for anyone who's guided. Gemini reading. Wow, how beautiful. Toil and labor. The pathway. The ten of pentacles. What a great reading. All right, so you have the pathway right so this is part of your journey there's a transformation happening there's a light down there it's beautiful it's like you're on the right path it you might have gone through a really difficult time this is this was a gift to you even if, even if you think back and go wow this was a really horrible time it's going to lead to something that's like a gift that puts you right on path ten of pentacles look at that this is the five card in this deck it's not a ten card but look at the how the ten pentacles are in the middle and it's solid for me ten of pentacles in any tarot deck is about your stability this is stable the tree you've got the uh rainbow going through the ten pentacles and it's a five card which shows exactly what i said the transformation with the butterflies the change that's coming fives mean change um, really nice energy here. I feel like um, you've got two, you've got a card of change and you've got two cards that are nines. No, this is, I'm sorry, an eight and a nine. Uh, where did I see another nine? I thought I saw another nine. In my mind, that was a nine. But anyway, I feel like you're coming to some kind of, um, well, you get, you're on path, so, or you're about to be. This all was a gift to you, even if it was a heavy, and you might have put in a lot of work. So let's say you have worked your butt off for your business or your company or anything in your life, for your home, for your family. There's a payback coming to you, gift from the universe. You're on track. You're getting your, you're, you're going to feel more stable, more solid and feel like all that effort that you've been putting in is, um, paying off. Okay. You're going to feel good about this. Let's get into it. This was my hybrid deck of the Gilded Revelry, Lenormand and the Kipper deck blended together. Um, this is the Miss Cleo deck and we're going to also be using the wheel of the year. All right, Gemini, let's do it. This is for anyone with Gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to watch Gemini reading for whatever reason you've been guided here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know? Gemini reading, what do we need to know? Gemini reading. I have already shuffled these, so I'm just going to give them a couple, couple quick, quick shuffles. One more shuffle, Gemini reading. All right, let's do it. Okay. What do we need to know about this Gemini reading for anyone who's guided? Keep in mind, I'll only take two cards, maybe three if I'm guided to take them. So if a clump comes out, it's going right back in. All right, what do we need to know? Gemini reading. That's just the way I work with my guides. Gemini reading, please. So your um, stability has been an issue, it looks like, or at least you felt like it was there's something here but you this is changing though whoa 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 get back here just one or two at a time please gemini reading there we go i'll take three yeah absolutely all right let's get one more card here there you go that tried to come out earlier on the top or in with those bunch that felt slipped out of the deck wow what a great reading okay so let's look at this 
Ten of Swords at the bottom, Nine of Wands at the bottom. It's kind of like what I was saying earlier. I felt like you were closing up an old cycle. You definitely are. This was a difficult cycle. Three of Swords, you felt like that. All right, um, there could have been, somebody could have um, taken from you and really um, put you through something. You've had to defend yourself. You felt stabbed in the back. You felt left, you know, like really um, hurt here. And you felt like you had to guard yourself, protect yourself. Whatever this is, you felt like there was an imbalance or an instability with the four of wands here reversed. This is about to change for you. So all this comes in to say, don't worry, this is about to change. So you don't know this yet. All right. Now I feel you don't know this yet because as we come into the reading, you're feeling really, you know, like you've really been through the ringer. Okay. Now we got the five of swords right here. And this five of swords person is actually, the thing I like about this Miss Cleo deck is they they talk to each other in a way they interact with each other sometimes these cards um this five of swords is looking back at um the world card and the world card is a really cool card because it's like the two of wands in a way that we see that you're when this world comes in you get to head down what your new path really cool that it came out with this card and the five of swords here says to me it's almost as if um i don't i feel like you did go through something with someone but you you've overcome it like it's almost like you took their tools um and you like you protected yourself and you stole their tools and you're like aha i got you know you tried to get me but i'm the one who will win and you will win because you're going through the world here. And not only that, look at the Wheel of Fortune just waiting to come in for you. Waiting. So as soon as you close out this old cycle, and I'm not sure what's going on with this Five of Swords. I'm going to be clarifying it. But whatever your instability was here and this devastation, I mean, you really did feel step devastation. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. That's no joke. And now you feel like you have to defend yourself, right? But as we look at this and move over into here you see where you're going from nine to ten to one to the wheel to the world to the one i mean to the world to the wheel to the one there's these are all coming in for you all of a sudden okay and it's like you kind of like it's like you do something that changes this you're going to take like an action queen of action queen of wands let's find out and I don't care what zodiac you are or what gender you are or any of that. There's something here about working really hard for something and you're about to get your um, payback. Um, if you went through something devastating, it almost feels like spirit's got your back. The gift is from spirit. The pathway is spiritual and the toil and labor is what you've been through and the security is what's about to come in. So I can't help but wonder, it's almost like spirits, like you've done your time, you've done your deeds, you've lived your karma, you worked so hard or whatever, you know, it's something like that for each of you. It's probably going to be different, but let's find out spirit. And the gift is this beautiful new cycle with stability coming in. And I don't, I feel like you don't know this is coming, but let's find out spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know? What are the messages here? What do we need to know? What are the messages? What do we need to know here? This is a Gemini reading. I feel like I got to do, I don't know why I feel like I have to shuffle a little more. Gemini reading, Gemini reading. One more. Okay. All right. We're ready. Let's do it. So let's look at the four stabs reverse. What turned your world upside down? Something about secrets or something about um, something happened that turned your world upside down. Um, there is something you don't know something Tell, or there's something maybe I feel like you don't know how good it's about to get is what I really feel. Let me look at the five of swords real quick. What is this five of swords doing here? What do we need to know about it? Gemini reading. Ten of Cups reverse. I'm telling you. All right. So something or someone caused this for you. It could have been a Pisces. It could have been anyone really. So it could have been, you know, just something went wrong. Um, I want to get one on one more on the Five of Swords. What else do we need to know? Five of Swords. 
no just one five of swords can we get just one more five of swords gemini okay devil all right so this does feel to me like someone um someone caused you this upsetment and it has to do with a, a minute ago we almost had the uh knight of swords come out with a bunch of other cards underneath of it in reverse someone caused this for you there was something they were doing that was toxic um that or they put you through something um i'm gonna look at the moon tell me what the moon is here on top of the four wands reversed nope just one Oh, that's way too many. I'm not even going to turn them over. Moon and the Four of Wands reversed. Here we go. Wow. They could have caused you a lot of stress. They could have been stalking you, spying on you, and they could have had you really stressed out about this. Again, Ten of Swords. Again. Again. This could have been... Um, wow. I mean, you could have felt hurt or scared in your own home right something they were doing family or home is what i'm getting here something about family and home tell me about um why is this princess of swords here she is like but she could be many different things she could be tell me about the princess of swords what do we need to know why is she involved she doesn't have to be a person, by the way. Tell me about the Princess of Swords. Why is the Princess of Swords involved? Gemini reading. This could be your energy. Wow, the world. Absolutely. All right, so this is actually a good thing. Um, this is you, something you didn't know before. Okay, the moon, something that you were unaware of or didn't have all the information. You got this in. This is you. Uh, something that caused you a lot of stress. You got the information. You're closing out this cycle. You, you, you. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. And the world. I'm counting the Wheel of Fortune as a 10 as well. Um, and 9, 9. Oh my God. You got 9s and 10s everywhere. All right. So this is in the world. This end of the new beginnings already here too. This is something that was difficult for you very very hurtful for you very stressful for you um you did something to cause this to close by something you you might have just found out stuff or you got to the bottom of something five of wands is reversed you're going to let go of the drama this could be a relationship or a partnership to of um no i'm sorry um lovers reversed this also could just be representing a decision that's being made here tell me about the world no tell me about the wheel of fortune reversed wheel of fortune reversed what is the hold up here okay i feel like i already know the answer give me the world i'm going to go back up to the world tell me about the world gemini reading oop just one or two that's way too many gemini reading oh gosh all right well We've got the Queen of Wands reversed and we have the Two of Swords. I feel like you're going to make a decision that you haven't, like here we have the Queen of Wands in the upright and here we have the Queen of Wands reversed. I feel like you are going to decide to take the action to go down the new path. Well, we already know you're going to be put right on your right path to take an action. Let's look at the Queen. Uh, look, the Fool takes the journey, takes the leap of faith and makes the move. Zero card as well really nice all right so let's take a peek here so queen of wands queen of action and i don't care what gender you are and i don't care what zodiac you are this is just showing we're going from somebody's deciding to take an action that they haven't taken before tell me about the queen of staffs what about the queen of staffs after observing it and getting to the bottom of so this decision you're making is after you really have observed as the princess of swords and the hermit reverse you know 
that you didn't like the stress you were under you and you were under so much stress here it was awful and it, it was a long time so you're making a change in your life because of this this change is you taking an action in some way to change something tell me about the wor no the um the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles because as soon as you make this decision and take this action you close out an old cycle and then you bring these in so tell me about the wheel of fortune and the ace of pentacles beautiful what do we need to know divine timing of course as always tell me more about the wheel of fortune and it's reversed with the ace of pentacles it's just not here yet there's something you're doing yeah there's there i'm telling you there's a beautiful balance coming in for you but it's going to be because of your action to do something world world wheel of fortune divine timing temperance this happens when you are ready people think divine timing is all about spirit doing everything spirit does part of it but you have to actually take the actions they can't do that part for you so um spirit can't really send you the gifts and your new journey and bring all the stability in for you if you are not participating it's not like you can sit on the couch and eat bonbons and gifts are just going to like bust through your door like boom hi we're gifts we're here no you have to be working towards those gifts in order for the gifts to have the key to come in the door right so this whole thing says to me i am not going to stay in or stay stuck or i don't even see that it's really that you're stuck it's that you were really just trying to figure out what to do after being in a situation that was really upsetting for you i feel like you were with somebody who was very toxic for you or in a circumstance that was toxic for you i feel like it was a family situation now this doesn't even have to be your own family this could be like your in-laws or something it could be your own family but it's something about now it just could be where you live you know keep that in mind sometimes that comes through as family as well but there's something here about something that was really not healthy for you not good for you very toxic for you and you looked into it you thought about all the stress you were under and all the in like instability you felt where you were you didn't feel like you were on the right path and spirit is sending you a gift this gift is we know that you've worked hard we know that you put up with a lot of crap and we're going to send you this gift we're going to help you get on the right path but you got to take the action and you will when you do everything changes i can't wait to know about this reading what a great reading gemini beautiful gifts from above so much happening here where you're seeing and it's like you know it you decide you decide you make the decision you change your cycle on your own at your this is like you doing it with help from spirit it's beautiful i want you to see how done this cycle is like i said the nine and the ten the world the world the wheel is about to come in for you in divine timing so says archangel michael right well we'll leave that down here the ace of pentacles shows the new cycle coming in as well you got the ten of cups you got the all these nines and tens are a big deal uh what else i feel oh here it is ten of cups there it is I'll, i mean ten of swords i want you to see how many endings and beginnings you have going on in this reading the ten of swords the nine of swords the ten of cups the ace of pentacles the wheel the world the world the ten of swords i uh, didn't you have the you had the ten of swords twice the nine and the ten of swords twice and the nine of wands these are all showing an end coming one two three four five six seven eight nine nine cards and don't forget we also had at the top up here another nine card this end is a gift for you from spirit so this is like almost all your cards were cards saying hey you're coming to the end of a cycle you only have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve of the other cards it's almost mind-blowing um you know and these two but um i really do feel and this is like a ten of pentacles for me right 
but it shows that something's changing to cause the Ten of Pentacles. So this really belongs here as well. Your Ten of Pentacles, your stability, what felt really imbalanced to you in the beginning of this reading and things you couldn't fully understand that you needed to um, focus on here, what felt like um, instability with this Four of Wands here reversed, I really feel as though it came from something that happened here, something that was very stressful for you where you felt like you had to defend yourself. I mean, this person feels completely stressed out. I want you to see this. And under attack. Three of Swords, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords again. I'm under attack. That's how you started this reading. And my life has been turned upside down because of whatever this was, Five of Swords, that was going on. And then you, it's like you steal their swords and you go, oh, screw this, I'm fixing this. And you fix yourself, your life for whatever happened in the past. And Spirit's like, we got you. You went through this. We know you did. And we will give you the gift of this new path and help you transform this. But you take the action. You go from Queen of Wands in the reverse to Queen of Wands in the upright. And you take this action and you cause all this change beautiful energy um gemini do follow through follow through don't be afraid make sure you take these actions i feel like they're going to change your life i don't know exactly what this is i hope you guys will comment down below some of you could be moving as well um that's been coming away oh coming in for many of the signs the past couple of weeks so let me know if you are but it's a move nonetheless it's a move in your life it's a change in you I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me get you a couple of angel cards before you leave. We got a second, right? All right, Gemini, have a great week. Don't forget to hit the like for me. It helps the channel grow, and I appreciate it so much more than you guys know. So thanks for hitting that for me. If you would like to um, subscribe, after you subscribe, make sure, and the little witch will be above us in just a minute. Um, if When you click on the little witch to subscribe, make sure you ring the bell and click all, or you won't get any um, notifications. Also, something should be on your left-hand side. It's probably going to end up being like a finance reading or something like that. But there's monthlies out there for you guys still. And I'm going to be working this week on next month's um, monthlies as well. So keep that in mind. Next week, you're going to get weeklies and monthlies. Celebration, delight, and wisdom from going within and making that decision based on what you have observed from within we had that multiple times here for you where you weren't sure and then you went within and you got this information you got to the bottom of I don't know where the other one went but you decided by going within what you were going to do um, to bring in this beautiful celebration and delight you're gonna you're gonna love this new path you are gonna love this new cycle I mean love it let me know, Gemini. I'm so excited for you guys. Anyway, guys, have a great comment down below. Have a great week. I wish I could figure out what the other card was where you were going within and you were making this. this well, you remember, you are the one who's deciding and looking into it. I love it. Divine timing's at play here and divine timing is about us not all about spirit. I don't care what anyone tells you. There's no way spirits running around just blessing people with divine timing who are sitting on the couch eating bonbons. Divine timing has to do with what you are doing. What energy are you putting into your path and your stability and your life? You got to work with them. Okay, guys, have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.